This video is going to cover Lesson 1. In Lesson 1, we'll check out the tutorials repo, compile Lesson 1 unchanged, put it onto the mister, and we should get an image that looks like that, basically a checkerboard pattern that's gray. Uh, we'll then take a look at why it's gray and not white, and then we'll go through the text in the readme, which will then allow us to make it so that we can get red instead of the white when we hit the button on the joystick. So go ahead and check this out, and below is step one, which is to build the existing code. So let's take a look what that looks like. We're going to check this out, and then if you look, there's Cordis, the QPF file is the file you load. Double click on that, or open project and grab it, and then you'll end up in Cordis here. Now let's take a look at what it is we're doing. So this is the port from MIST to MISTER. The top section, this MU module, this is where we hook up to the main MISTER and it'll call us our module MU. So every top level is named MU. And in here are a bunch of signals we'll use for this. The clock video, the uh, aspect ratio, the VGA signals, and then a bunch of stuff we're not gonna use for this, like sound, audio, serial port. SDRM. Um, this is all from the template. So when you start a project, if you start with the template, you'll get most of this. And then we'll name the core. The first line is the name of the core, lesson one. And then we copied from another core, just this O, which means an option. Eight, nine are the two bits to use in the status. So up here it says status nine, colon eight. And then this is to do the aspect ratio which again, is just some copied code. Now, and it defaults at four by three. We're gonna do VJ output, which I guess should be four by three. This HPS IO module is how we talk to the hard system, to the Linux box. And right now, the only thing we're gonna do is send it the config string and get back the status so we can see if someone changed eight, nine. Uh, when we go to do the joystick, we'll drop in a dot joystick I think underscore zero, and we'll grab the bits out of the joystick. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But in any case, load this up and then hit the play button, and it should start compiling, and it'll pop up this other window. Let's keep looking through this as it's compiling. This is a very simple module, so we just have this VGA module that's slightly adapted from the MIST version, and we pass in the clock sys, which is actually our video clock, which comes out of this PLL. The PLL can be found under IP components. You can right-click on it, edit and parameter editor if it's not compiling and that'll allow you to change the clock right now we set it to 25.116 and i'll show you why come back over here to files and click on vga this is the vga module and this tiny vga talks about how to do the timing and so those values are right here and one of the things you need is the correct clock pixel clock and that's I believe specified on this page. So that's why we have the 25 megahertz. Um, this code, you can look through it, but basically we are counting and setting up our horizontal counters, our vertical counters. So that'll be each pixel. And then based on the count, we set our H sync and our V sync, and then the blanks. Although I feel like I may have been having trouble with these blanks. So we also um, are setting this uh, display enable pixel over here. Now this um, always block runs each clock cycle. And it basically says if we're inside the visible range, then set the pixel and then it's doing an XOR. So it's setting it to be either white or I should say black or white based on um, bit two, zero, one, two. And so that should make the box is, I think, eight pixels wide. Or is it three? And then we come down here and we set RGB equal to pixel. Now, there's two problems with this. One, this is three V zero, but I see more than three pixels here. So that's just a mistake. And seven, six, five is three. So three and three is six. So we're leaving two on set. So this is just, it seems just broken. Uh, if we look at the top, R is our output, and it's set to 7 colon 0, which means it's 8 bits wide. 
So I think what we want to do is um, use this concatenation, but be a little bit smarter. And again, the colors are 332 right now, but I think what we want to do is do th take the three pixels of red, and another three pixels of red, and then the top two, and that'll give us eight full pixels. And that'll go from gray to white. So after you compile it once with the gray, if you change that, you'll see the color will get more vibrant. And I think I need to change this in a couple more of my demos. So this is going to take a while to compile. I'm just going to stop that. And let's take a look back at the web browser and let's look at the directions for what this has to do. So the first thing we need to do is put in a wire that will hold the value of the joystick we get back from each PS module. <clears throat> so we can copy this and then pop back over to Cordis. Now this is going to start where we need to actually be in this lesson one. And again, we're going to grab the joystick from here. So we'll put this wire right next to the status wire. The joystick is 32 bits wide right now. I think it used to be 16, so I think it, it could change. And if we look, bit 0 is right, bit 1 is left, 2 is down, and then up. And then what's interesting is the button's 4 plus. So button 4 is going to be our A button or red button that when we hit it, it'll change from white to red. But if you wanted to do X and Y or you know shoot and jump, you can make it four and five and six and seven. And in the config string, we just paste this in J1 for joystick, and JN tells you what the default mappings would be on a Super Nintendo joystick. So we'll copy those two lines and put that in the config string. And the config string was up here, it usually goes at the bottom. Oops, let's fix the formatting. And now we want to actually read the joystick out of, oh, I missed a step in here. Look at that. OK, well, I'll have to go back and change it. But basically, we want to read the joystick out of the HPS. So coming back over to Quartus, I believe it wants to be dot joystick underscore zero and we called it joy. Now, okay, what are we gonna do with the joystick? So we wanna look at just bit four, we don't care about the directions yet. And what we're gonna do is make this wire color. Now the first time I wrote this when I was testing it, I forgot to do seven colon zero. And so we took all of these eight bits and who knows what it does. I'm sure there's it does something with it that's deterministic, but it's not what we want because we wanna actually pass the 332 color in. And in this case, three red, three zero, or R is, sorry, R is red of all ones, green is zero, blue is zero, and that should give us a red color. Or if we don't press the button, we'll get white, which is all the red, all the green, all the blue set. So we, let's grab that and put it above our, oh, I wasn't showing you the web. Well, that's, that's the line. Let's put it in quarters. Apologize for that. So we can put it here. Again, this is a three red, green, blue, or all colors, which gives you white. And now we need to pass it in. So let's look at how we pass into a module. We want to add this dot color parameter. And on this side, it's pretty easy. We just pass it right in. And we maybe it shouldn't be the top, but it doesn't matter right now where to put it. Color, and then we need the comma. In Verilog, there's no comma at the end of the last one. Okay, now let's switch over to VGA. This is where it's a little bit more complicated. We're going to want to pass in an input, not an output, and we're going to want it to be color. So input color, but that's not right. What did I forget? The color is actually 8 bits, so 7 colon 0. Now, right now, where do we set the color? Right here is where we set white. So instead of that white, if we pass in color, that should do it. Let's look back at the web, make sure we didn't miss anything. And there's our pixel, and that should be good. So go ahead and compile that, and 
you should get red.